Oh, what are we going to do here? To the blacksmith. He's going to try to make a knife. You know, I'm gonna queue up some foraging. Let's get into it here. I'll talk as we watch what I'm doing. I want a knife to go along with the Black Hawk series. I don't know what we're gonna call a knife. Maybe the Black Hawk Bowie. This, that's the first design we're gonna start to go with. Anyways, we'll figure that out. But hey, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make a knife to really showcase the foraging. Wouldn't it be super cool? The knife and the guard were all one piece with the forged texture, the forged steel, right? Somebody has already done this, I'm sure of it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the process on how to do this. So for me, that's exciting. I'm looking forward to figuring this out. And that's what we're gonna do today. This is, uh, I almost felt like I shouldn't video any of this because I literally do not know the process. I do not know if it's gonna work. And I do not know how long this is gonna take. So today we're gonna start by figuring out will the idea work? And then we're gonna start building tooling. And I don't know what follows that. So the first thing I wanna to try to figure out is how and what isolating the material for the guard looks like. around trying to figure out the steps not worried about perfection and then once we got it figured out the process of how we want to go about this I'll sit down and actually make some tools up and we'll make it crispy well hopefully all of this from here I just not worried about that that's gonna work out and then this here would be about this much longer for the blade right so we're just focused in on this part I'm gonna sit down and give it a think Let's see what the next step is <laughs> Couple pieces on the floor there. This is my pretty much latest concept. Just still concepting, you know, figuring out if the idea is going to work and uh, how I want to approach things. Okay, okay, okay. No, wait. All right, all right, all right. So we are over at the fly press. This was not my first tool of choice. I can't figure out any other way to do this because the situation is have a lot more material on this thing and so it gets very long. Height is always a problem in the blacksmith shop. So I can't do it under the power hammer because I won't have throw. Upsetters are out because they don't have throw. So we're at the fly press and the reason we're here is because I'm going to cut a hole down there through the I-beam. That's what this table is. So we can have almost indefinite length. The only restraint will be getting the part in top, but I think it'll work out. And then we're gonna make up a die that will sit here to create all this, this side, this shoulder here. Uh, kinda like, you know, like you can see how that would work. 
and then the top part is going to be a die that is going to be the contour of this shape in here. So the hope is that I can set that all in clean and crisp. So we're going to start into making the tooling and this is like pretty much the end of day two. <laughs> hardly anything to show for it because I've just been really focusing on thinking through the process, figuring out how I want to approach this one. It's actually deceptively challenging. All right, here's a chunk out of the saw. And I thought while we chuck this up, I'd like to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is a company that's there for the individual who wants to turn their passion project to like a full-time job or uh, someone like myself who's not technologically savvy, if you know what I mean. Whether you need a website, an e-commerce website, portfolio, blog, Squarespace has award-winning designs in all those categories and much more. So pretty much anything you do, Squarespace is going to be able to help you out. But here's a couple more features that are interesting. So the e-commerce side of things, if you need to sell a product, a digital product, a service, merch, you can do that all straight from there. You can even print your shipping labels directly from Squarespace. So you don't need to get that third-party plugin, which I didn't actually know. I'm looking forward to learning about that a bit more. If you don't have a domain name and you need one, get it right there at Squarespace. Squarespace has some pretty cool marketing features you can use, uh, you know, like an email newsletter, which you all know I use. But uh, if you actually need to send out like a mailing, I guess a mailing list, like you, you send out something in the mail, I don't know who does that anymore, you could use that. You can integrate straight from Squarespace to Facebook or Instagram with your products, which is very, very useful. And should you get stuck with something, Squarespace has award-winning 24-7 customer service. So Squarespace really is the one-stop shop for setting up your online presence. If you head over to squarespace.com slash timd, that'll get you 10% off your first purchase. Very unfortunately, this shaft is hardened. So I'm gonna take it out we're gonna stick it in the forge and heat it up and let it anneal. Okay, so these are the parts here. This is the fly press bottom. I just cleaned this hole out here. I just bored it out. Uh, I was all messed up so that then this part here is gonna fit in there like that. And then this is the big daddy here. Uh, this is uh, obviously just from the shaft. It was just a piece of scrap. That doesn't affect what we're doing, so that's ugly, but it's there. So anyways, we're going to go put this in and see if, oh, uh, see if this idea works. <laughs> I took the torch yesterday and just quickly blasted a hole in here, just in case I need that. Well, hopefully I'm going to need that room. And that comes into this pocket here. I think that'll be enough. If not, we'll just blast a hole in the bottom. So let's try this thing out. I'm gonna make up uh, one more piece here. We'll stick it in and see how this thing works.
I'm a little bit in shock that the tooling actually worked. <laughs> it's not finished, like it's still got a ways to go, but extremely exciting to see this coming along at this point. I uh, couldn't help myself. I wire wheeled this side to see what that texture was gonna look like in here. A couple things here, obviously, we have the same amount of material material on each side that has to be dealt with. You know, at the end of the day, if I had to trim this side off, I could I could, I could live with that. And then obviously, uh, there's still a lot of like shaping. Um, I want more material in here, so that's going to be adjusting the die. I'm and yeah, and then the other thing that was really unknown was how was this shoulder going to sit down. Was I gonna create a cold shot or not? And it actually looks really pretty good. You know, this will be very interesting to see what happens through heat treat because it'll be such a crispy section. Hopefully that won't be an issue. So the next step is we kinda of gotta leave this area here and we gotta figure out exactly how much material I need for the blade and whether or not this flat bar height is gonna allow me to be able to move the blade out to where I want it to be. Uh, so I got to lock that in so that then we can figure out the die because obviously we need more material on here and we're getting pretty tight under the fly press. So this material in here, if I go to a tang kind of style like this, we've got tons of material in here. If I go to a full tang, which I kind of want to do, I'll probably need a little bit more, but again, we'll figure that out as we go. All right, let's get to it.